Hey, New Hope, Pastor Brian here. I hope you're having a great day. You know, this past weekend, we celebrated the anniversary of New Hope, 30 years. It's so great to look back and to see what God has done. You know, in 30 years, so many people have called New Hope home for them. In the course of that time, New Hope has made a tremendous impact on our communities, on our homes, across the globe. Whether you were there on day one or you've been coming just a short time in the past year, you can look back also and see the impact that God has done in your life. You know, I've been on staff since 2005, and man, I'm so grateful for the New Hope family. Um, I'm also so grateful for each and every one of our pastors. You know, our pastors, they love you. They are praying for you. They're here for you. Um, they truly want to see the kingdom of God advance. They want to see lives impacted for Jesus eternally, not just for here on this earth, but for eternity. They want to see lives changed. And over the course of 30 years, we have seen countless lives come to faith in Jesus. Countless people have made their, their faith in Jesus real. And it's so important that we look back and we say, thank you, God, for what you have done. Thank you, God, for changing hearts and lives. Uh, you've restored so many people. And it's very important to do that. But what's also very important is that we continue to look ahead to the next 30 years of what God can do. I echo what Pastor Weaver said this last weekend. He said, we're glancing back and we're thankful but we're looking ahead, we're moving forward for the next 30 years of what God has in store. We don't wanna forget that there is still a job to do for each of us until Jesus returns. You know, our mission, if you've been around long enough, you've heard this, our mission is heaven and to take as many with us as possible. It's so important and that has always been our mission, that will always be our mission. It's simple, but it, it's very important that we keep that mission in front of us. You know, the Bible talks about keeping, uh, setting your affections on things above. In Colossians 3, 2 is where it says this. It says, set your minds or set your affections on things above, not on the things of this earth. Our lives need to be focused on God's word. Our lives need to be filled with God's spirit. We need to continue, and I encourage you today to do this, continue to draw near to God. The Bible says that when we do that, he will draw near to us. God will give you the strength that you need to continue until he returns. Think of it this way. This is the first week of the next 30 years, and I cannot wait to see what God has in store for each of us. I know he has great plans for our church, for New Hope. So would you pray with me for the next 30 years that God would continue to move in a mighty way within our church? God, we are so grateful for what you've done over the past 30 years. So many lives have been changed and impacted because of you. Lord, we thank you that you are so faithful to us. And God, we ask that you will continue to strengthen your people, strengthen your church. Lord, that you continue to pour out your spirit within this church body, within your, your church itself, God, that we will continue to depend upon you and depend upon your spirit. We pray that there be an outpouring of your spirit, like your word says, that lives would forever be changed, that so many people would continue to come to faith in you and that it would be eternal decisions that are made, God. We are thank, thank you for what you have in store for the next 30 years. We depend upon you. It's not about us, God. It's not about a denomination. It's not about who we are in society, but it's completely 100% about you. And so we depend upon you and your word. Fill us today. Thank you, God, for what you're going to do in the next 30 years. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. New Hope, we love you so much. We look forward to seeing you on Sunday.